Here we go with an MX-5 race at Ulp Park. This one had a lot of action in the first couple of laps and then an absolutely crazy finish. So we'll get right into it. The beginning was actually quite extraordinary in that there were no big crashes. Uh, this, we all got away pretty smoothly. That first corner, uh, people sort of took their time. We had plenty of room. Uh, this next bit's a big braking zone into a left and people were okay with that too and we all seem to get through. Uh, the only issue really was this car number seven, uh, losing it a little bit coming into the next high speed section. Show it to you from here. Uh, with one of the better catches I've seen for a while. Gets it a little bit wide there, touches the grass, and then quite controlled, but then nearly takes somebody out there, cuts back across the track, and nearly takes me out, nearly takes the person behind me out. Actually does take the person behind me out, that's rude. And then off they go. Um, but that was it, usually that leads into all sorts of carnage. Five took a little shortcut across the chicane there, and as a result had to uh, serve a slowdown penalty right there, which let me get past as well. And then we're off. Um, yeah, the rest of that one was pretty boring, so we'll speed this up and get around to where the carnage happens. You can have a look at the track. There's a um, double apex right there. Biggest stop of the track is that right. You get that last corner right, and you've got a good slingshot into the uh, the next lap. This is lap two, and we'd all sort of worked ourselves out. I was pretty comfortable uh, a second or so behind the car in front, who once in a while came back towards me when the teal car in front uh, blocked him. but. In general, I wasn't really going to trouble either of them. And behind me was looking pretty good. There was a bit of pressure there, but I was doing okay. So let's pause here. Uh, I was under a bit of pressure in that I let him through, apparently. Um, so lap three. So if we skip ahead a couple of cars, we'll keep this moving so it's not too still. And skipping ahead to... Sixth, sorry, eight. Sixth, fifth, and then that's the battle for fourth, third, second, and first. So we'll get it back to normal speed. This is second on first, coming into the first set of chicanes. No problems, very smooth, nice and close to the barriers. It was the second set, set of chicanes where absolutely everything happened. So we'll go through it a few times, uh, and I did benefit greatly from it. So. Diving in too late, breaking too late, a tag, both of them go. Cool. How does that look from behind? Who's coming? Well, third and fourth are right behind, if you remember. So they have their own problems at the time because fourth, which is the red car, love just a little tap there, grinds along, and then he's turning left after they clear the car, so then bang there into them. Going back another couple of cars. Nine T-bones, ten absolutely there. So three's coming to join the fun. So we watch all of that happen in front. Big T-bone there for nine. Three, bang. Because why? Because nine decided, and we go to the chopper for this and switch directly to nine. Watch nine. Nine's hit somebody, decides I'm going to reverse on a live racetrack. Beautiful. Bang. That didn't help. There goes four. Gets it. Taking two more out, somebody else. That's me down the bottom. You may wonder how I got myself into this situation. Well, let's find out. I saw all of this happening and backed the hell off. Break, 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 break. Stop. Stopped on the racetrack. Will there be a gap? Will there be a gap? There's my gap. Not quite yet. Still got bumped. But then off I go. Got myself into fourth at that stage. So uh, behind me. I have one, two, three, four, five, six cars that were formerly first through fourth, I think. Maybe third got through that um, gold or orange colored car. But I'm now running the rest of the race with quicker cars behind me who have already shown me that they're willing to smash each other to try and get through narrow gaps. Um, so I was pretty damn nervous that this wasn't going to go well. You can see there's dust and stuff up behind already. They're taking each other out. So we'll speed it up again because they do, of course, slowly catch me. And I'd made up my mind at this point that I was not going to put myself in harm's way when they do 
and inevitably catch me. So a couple of laps like this, they're sort of fighting with each other and trying to, to catch up to me. There's a bit more of a wiggle from the green car behind. Purple's now chasing me as the lead of those. Uh, I was keeping the gap relatively okay until the purple didn't have anyone to worry about behind him and then concentrating on me. This is coming into a a bit where if you get it right through here, you get much more speed into the next high speed corner and then the big stop to the right. And I think that's what happened. That I just didn't have the the car control and speed coming out of some of these. So I braked earlier and already look at me avoiding the apex to try and give him some room. Now we're coming into some hairpins, some, some S's, and I really didn't want him trying to take me there. That's how we got into trouble on lap three, and look, he's right up on me. And I just bail at this point. I'm off, and you can actually see me from this camera. I think I even break. I lifted at the very least and just said, you go. So off he goes, and then I'm braking early. I'm not going to bump into him the same as that earlier accident. So that's one done. Uh, there were more, of course, still coming. So that's dropped me into fifth at that stage. So next to come and try and overtake me. Slowly closing the gap. I'm fighting as hard as I can to not let them close the gap, but they were quicker. And there was my mistake through the chicane, which dropped me further back. So from the normal chase camp, just brake too late. Brake didn't turn in, and at that point just decided, no, rather than try and hit some, or get it back on the track, maybe hit someone, just line it up, get back going. And now I have to serve a slowdown penalty which meant, uh, yeah, I'm coasting and this guy could just drive straight past me. There was nothing to stop him. Having served the penalty then, it was a chance for me to do some chasing of my own with uh, nobody behind me really to worry me at that stage. I thought maybe I could get onto the back of that guy, um, justifying that he'd only passed me because I had to serve a, a slowdown penalty. Uh, it turns out I wasn't even that quick and going to watch another guy slowly catch me and overtake me which I'm sixth at this stage I think yes I'm sixth so that's seventh trying to catch me everybody trying to do recovery drives from that uh, chicane tomfoolery so you can see he's catching me quite easily there got nice and close and well I got away from him out of there I must have got a better exit it took a few laps for him to catch me. We are on lap 7 of 10 at this stage. Did okay holding him up for a bit. But here we go. We'll switch it around to normal speed. Maybe enjoy it from, from the TV cameras, this one. So I'm glad he didn't run up my butt there, and he's got a much quicker exit out of there, he's getting much closer. Now the set of chicanes, and I've just, no, he got so close to that first one, I'm letting him go through this one. Turns out number 11 was a brilliant driver, and really gave me room in the battle in the last two laps that we had. Uh, but I didn't know that yet at this stage, so I was cautious and let him pass. But I did then not let him get away from me. And this is now the beginning of lap eight. So eight, nine, and 10, we were just line astern, and I really enjoyed this battle. Um, I think I picked up some better lines from where he was driving, uh, braking points and things like that. It was really good to, to be racing, just to have, yeah, my car tucked up under him. He got in nice and tight there. I went wide, that lost me a few tenths. Get into the chase, so we can see the line he takes, the line I take. So he's braked early, and he's come from wider. 
which means he's got a better exit out of there. The MX-5s are nice and forgiving. I stuffed that up and you can see me wash wide, uh, lose a lot of speed, but you can catch it and bring it back onto the racetrack without it just spinning on you or understeering straight off the track. So you can make a mistake like that, lose two, three tenths, and then bit by bit claw it back over the rest of the lap. I'm on and off the accelerator, you can hear it there, just to try to recover from nearly stuffing up that, that second corner so badly. There's a lot of time to be gained in these if you're brave and can go quickly, and he's gone wide there, you can see him have to break hard in the middle of the chicane. Give me a chance to, to catch back up here. Actually, I like this angle for these chicanes. see how much they slide too you can throw them around those corners and get a little bit of a little bit of slip so I was getting brave here had a, a nice run in to this corner he scrubs a little bit wide and this corner big braking zone I pop out show him I'm there and he's gone wide again, and I think I got a really good run out. And yep, just touched the grass to stay away from him, and then went really wide to make sure I got nowhere near him. Look at the room we're giving each other. But I got him. I got a proper overtake. Uh, not by much, but enough. And then went a little bit too quickly into that first corner. But I uh, managed to pull it all together and got myself back into sixth place at this stage with a guy obviously hot on my tail trying to trying to take it back but that was fun it was um, yeah it was safe and aggressive and enjoyed this battle so that's a uh, car giving us fifth place so now we're fighting for fifth place because that orange and grey car spun. So this is now lap 10. This is the final lap. So coming down this hill for the final time into the big chicane that was problematic. I managed to make the braking stick this time and I'm covering the inside so he can't have a dive. At this stage, there's a double apex right. Pink's out of it now, having stuffed that corner off. Double apex right, and then a big right-handed to go. Um, that's not a corner that left. It's a setup for this. And I got this right. I was feeling quite, quite confident because he took an inside line. He just didn't have the same speed coming out of here. But I stuffed up this breaking point. I don't know what happened here. Look, I go straight ahead, and he ducks in. He's still braking as he comes around. We don't touch, and then this very last little bit, we're on the sprint to the finish. And we'll rewind it to have a quick look at that, that final corner, which is what cost me. So I'm ahead, I brake late, I've gone wide, I've not got on the power early enough. And this is the sprint now to the finish. There are all the grid positions, and we're side by side, and in VR you can see me look across to the right to see where he is. I've still got a nose in front, but he's still getting a better run, and that's the finish line. And he got me by three one thousandths of a second. It was so fun. We, uh, we chatted about it afterwards. Um, that was, yeah, intense. Three laps, nose to tail. He had the first lap, so the third last lap. I had the second last lap. And then on the last lap of the last corner, he got me. Um, and it was great that we could sit and chat about it afterwards and just generally yeah, be pleased with ourselves for not crashing. I wasn't even mad that I got sixth instead of fifth because that was an incredible amount of fun. So I'm just going to run the highlights, some of the 
more noteworthy events from the uh, captured footage of the race in VR. You can't break shakes at heart. Yellow flag, watch out, there's an incident in <laughs> Brook. It looks like Oak and Martin. Car right. Right side's clear. So this one's me missing my breaking marker and point for the chicane and going straight through. You can see the snap decision there. Turn left, don't even try. To track limits, please be on. If you look back through my telemetry, you can see the moment of panic, uh, red braking and then just easing off. And now I've got to give that time back. This next one is the beginning of the uh, of the battle then so it's the last three laps you can see the uh, positions on the top right and a relative time so you can see the track map as to what corners are coming up and my inputs uh, and I'm sure at the very end you can see exactly why and how I let him through on the last corner two laps left
Nice one, Jason. <laughs> that was so close. Well played, brother. You that was awesome. Me for ages. Well played. Well, I let you past once, and then suddenly I found I was faster, which was weird for me. I think you might, you might have been copying my line through the, the the first chicane the second time through, so you were way faster after you started to chase me. You're right. You definitely taught me a better way through there. Thanks, man. That was fun. Yeah, it was good fun. Thank you. So here's the results for that race. It was a 1336 strength of field, which is an average of these numbers here of the uh, I rating numbers. 1300 is mine. Uh, Jason, who beat me, still a rookie, so he didn't have a rating as yet. The winner was a 1411. So he was the best rated driver in here, was expected to win it. There's the margin of victory, three one thousandths, well, victory for fifth place. Uh, safety rating change, a uh, slight kick up because I only had one incident point for missing that chicane once and cutting across the grass. Uh, to give you an idea, so the average lap time here was a 156 or 158.8 for me in the bottom split. There's still a 156 being done by the winner, but a big drop off then into third and fourth. So all things equal, I would have been fourth and close to third in this against much lower rated I rating drivers. So uh, the good thing about being in the higher splits is that the racing is generally cleaner. Um, but as you saw, it can be random anyway. But uh, that's the result screen for this race.